called Agilio. Um, I'm a hairstylist. I freelance. I've been doing hair for about 17 years. I'm aging myself a little bit. Um, probably fresh out of high school. Started doing hair. Um, I work for myself. I own my own business. Um, just self-employed. Way to go. My daily routine would be waking up, um, coffee first, always coffee first. I, I can't function without it. It's like my, my blood. Um, feed my doggies, take them out. Um, depending on what day it is, I'll probably go to the gym. I'll probably run errands um, if I have enough time before work. Then I go, I usually open up the salon because I usually start work earlier than the other girls on you know, any given day. Um, and then basically, I will work anywhere from like nine to nine or 10 to nine at night. Um, I only work at the salon about three days a week, sometimes two because I do bridal work, which is my real true passion um, over the weekends, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or you know, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I travel a lot. I work with another company called Erica Does Makeup. I love the girls I work with. I'm really blessed to work with such talented women and headstrong women. That's huge for me. We kind of inspire each other, which is awesome. He wants the first one, of course. Like when I first got there, I'm like, oh, this is. It reminded me of um, my parents' house. Like our taste is very different. <laughs> yeah. I'm also the hairstylist representative for This Is a Salute show. Um, I came across this as a salute show about a year ago. Eli the Barber hit me up and wanted to know if I was interested in it. I really didn't know much about it. I never really heard of it before. So, um, you know, he urged me to come to the studio and sit in on a show and, you know, see what I thought. So, um, I remember the first time I went to a show, it was all barbers. There were no stylists. So I felt a little out of my element. Um, it was a little intimidating because honestly, I, you know, it was just it was just me. I felt like we were kind of from two different worlds. I remember just being like so amazed because barbering is something I really don't know anything about um, art-wise. Like I like they were doing like portraits and like all kinds of designs, and I'm like, wow. Like I just think of when I would think of barbers and barbershops, I would think of like the old school like barbershops just the ump of it I was like oh my god I was just so taken back by that and um, I was like yeah I'm like hell yeah I want to be on this show because I saw what it was really about and everybody was nice and it was so inspiring and I've been saying for a long time that I've been wanting to you know learn how to barber it's just you know the issue of time and who's gonna teach me I don't know but um, it was, uh, it was a great experience, so I showcased and um, I was on stage and it was really, um, it was like exhilarating. It was, it was great and I just got in my zone and I did a nice updo, a nice bridal updo. I was interviewed and it was great and even after I was done that night, I'm like, God, you know, I really hope I can come back to this show or just like come hang out because it was just so... I left feeling almost like on a high because of just all the inspiration around me. And luckily, um, Ivan, the producer, called me, I think, that New Year's Eve and asked me if I wanted to be a part of it. And we just seemed to so be on like the same page and um, it just, it worked out ever since. And I'm, I'm thankful I gain inspiration from all of them every day, um, even all the guests on my show. You know, we've, they're just, you learn something from everybody. A little bit, you take a little bit from everybody. And, um, you know, I just, I love the group I'm with. Three things that you don't know about me. Um, this might come as a shock, but I didn't, always want to do hair. I was, I joke with my parents all the time that I was forced into it because um, I kind of didn't know what I wanted to do when I was a teenager. I was kind of, you know, I was cutting school and being bad and all that stuff. And my mother owned a salon, my mother Donna. She owned a salon, very successful salon. And um, 
you know, they basically put me to work and they kind of saw I wasn't going in a really good direction. So they basically told me, you're going to beauty school and you're going to work for us and that's what you're going to do until, you know, you really figure out what you want to do and they just tried to give me some direction. So I ended up going to beauty school and I ended up being really good at it, which I was surprised and I ended up really loving it and the love grew more and more and more as years went on. The second thing you might not know about me is that I come from a long line of strong, independent female entrepreneurs. Um, it's kind of funny actually. Uh, my, one of my great grandmothers, she owned a successful brothel. <laughs> and uh, you know, a lot of people laugh about that, but you know what, it was her business and she was good at it and she was a businesswoman, she stood firm. From what I hear, I never got to meet her. Um, and then my mother, you know, huge, huge inspiration for me. Every time I need any kind of business information or advice, she's always there and she's always right, no matter what. Third thing, that I am super, super intuitive. It's, um, it's a little scary, a lot of people get a little freaked out by it, I mean, I'm not like psychic or anything like that, but I just have, I have like a really sick intuition, so that's good too. Um, I won Best of Long Island for Bridal Hair Care this, this year, 2014, and that was awesome. I was really touched that a lot of my clients voted for me, because like I said before, that's really my true passion is I love bridal work, I love the vibe. Um, I love being around weddings. I um, it's it's just so important to me to be with people on their special, this, like biggest day of their life, and they chose me to do this for them. So it's it's an honor, and I've shared a lot of special moments with my brides. Um, sometimes I'm almost like their voice of reason when they're freaking out. So it's a big responsibility, but I love it, and um, it's definitely a calling for me. Um, and you know with the whole bridal thing, it's, it's been great ever since. I mean, everybody's, everybody's had hardships in their life, we all know that. But for a while, I felt like I got a little scale. I wasn't really being true to my craft. I had too much stuff going on in my personal life to really focus on it. And um, you know, things happen and I, was on my own for a while and certain, like I said certain situations they make you bitter or they make you better and I can 100% tell you I got better I put more time into myself I put more time into my craft I I just figure if you're gonna do anything in your life be the best you could absolutely be at it otherwise it's like don't bother like then you're just you're just working for a paycheck and you don't have passion you lack passion and What's, what's life without that? It's, it's boring, it, it stinks.